All right, guys, so I'm going to show you how to reformat and move data around in JMP to make it more amenable to uh, a Tukey test. So over here, I have all aquatic ecology data. This is basically the file you guys will be using for next week. I'm just going to show you how to manipulate it to hopefully make your lives a little easier. So I've copied these columns here, control C, command C or Mac. I'm going to paste them with their column names into here. Uh, it got mad at me for some reason. So we are not going to worry about that because I don't see anything that's broken. All right. And I've already changed this data set so we don't have to worry about recoding anything. All right, so we just want to check that all of our values here are what we want. So I want to make my dates ordinal because like there's no date 419 and a half, but they have a sequence to them. Whereas site, I'm going to make nominal because I have three different sites, but there's no sequence to them at all. Uh, and I'm going to leave these as continuous. So right now, this data set not ideal for doing two key. So what we're going to do is we're going to stack these four columns. Uh, so I'm just going to go to table, stack. I'm going to select these four. I'm going to put them up here. This will make a new table. I'm going to leave stack by row. Uh, I'm going to check this eliminate missing row button. I don't think it's going to do what I want to, but we're going to keep our stacked columns, and you'll see why. And then I'm just going to label these. So my data, I'm going to call these concentration, and my label will be parameter. Uh, we'll leave everything else. And now when I hit OK, I'm going to get a column that's going to have all of my parameters now. So it took all of these headings. So it took like iron 0.67, put that heading here, put that value here. Uh, and now, see how I have all these blank values? They don't actually affect your result, but I'm going to get rid of them. So I'm going to click it. I'm going to click this red arrow here, and I'm going to select my rows where they match that blank value. So select matching cells, all matching cells. And I'm just going to delete these. So now I only have real values in here. Um, so if I wanted to right now, I could do uh, all of the comparisons for like all of these. So we have our Y value response. Uh, I'm going to break these down by site and then by time and parameter. This is not what you should do because this would be learning literally all of them. So I get like a hundred of these. Uh, if I, on Windows, control alt click these, I think on Mac it's command alt click. I can tell it to do the all pair two key for every single one of these. And I'll get out, you know, a bunch of statistics here. Uh, so that's not really what you'd want to do though. So that's, you know, this is in two key format. If you guys painstakingly wanted to, you could go through and you could clip out the site you want or the date you want. Uh, but we're going to use a trick here to pull out only a particular subset of this data. Okay, so we're going to go to this row, row selection, select where. And this will let us pick things we want to select. So maybe we want to select the date when it's the 7th, 19th of 2017. I'm going to click Add Condition. We're going to select Site 1 for Parameter Iron. Uh, and I think it is important that you get these exactly to match what's written in your tables. Then we click OK. So it's going to select all of these values. Then we can make a subset, so table subset of the selected rows. We hit OK. And now we have a data table that's just site one on that date for iron. Uh, so there are other ways to do this, but 
you know, this is one way that you can select those values. Uh, let's try another way that's maybe a little more intuitive. All right, so the other way to do this uh, is we're going to use what's called the data filter. So I'm going to use this red drop down. I'm going to go to data filter. I'm going to click on the parameters I want to sort by. So I want to go by date and site and parameter. Now I can just shift click on or control click on the ones I want. Um, I think on Mac that would be command click. So maybe I want to select uh, all of the 2018 data for site two, given iron. Uh, so now that I've had all that clicked, if I were to scroll down here, I would find that those are all clicked. Do my table, subset, selected rows, bada bam. Then if I want to, I can do my fit y by x of comparison versus uh, dates and then I can do my two key and I can say okay between these three dates there was no difference in iron at this site on that date or on those three dates uh, I could also make this into like a line chart or something you know if I want to show it another way concentration versus date, bada bam. Maybe I want to put my other stuff on here, show all my fun values. That's really all there is to it. Make the line extra thick. Bam. Uh, and so you can probably tell from this that it's not surprising there's no uh, significance here. All right, um, so the, you know, based on those clicks, you could easily swap these around to get to whatever question you're working on. Uh, so thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to uh, More with Dr. Moore. It's going to be my brand when I come out. All right, so good luck. Let me know by email if you guys have any questions.